So this is gonna be my fourth setup this year. That's not already built because we're gonna be building it together. I think this one is gonna be the one that fixes everything. What's happening traders and investors? My name is Alex and today I'm gonna to show you guys my new build that's not already built because we're gonna be building it together. So I'll go over all the parts, the spec and how I ended up with this setup and also the reason why I ended up with this setup because I tried a lot of setup and they all add small issues and I think this one is going to be the one that fixes everything. If not, I think I'm just going to have to build another one, but that's for another video. So if you're in the market for a new day trading setup, this video is going to be super helpful and also helpful in a way that you won't have to spend 10 grand to try to figure it out. And that's pretty much what I spent. And just a quick side note, everything in this setup is quite expensive, but you could also replicate this exact setup with parts that are less expensive if you're more on a budget. So I hope you guys are going to enjoy this video. If you do just like and subscribe i also link all the tools i'm using today trade in the description so if you're looking for a new broker scanner or anything like that everything's going to be linked down below so let's not waste any more time and let's start this build so for this setup there's only a few things that i needed to add i needed to add the extra monitor right here this monitor is an asus pro r 27 inch 2k monitor really really good quality monitor super high definition and color accuracy is really really good Definitely overkill for day trading. It's just because I already had two of them. And I really like them. So I didn't want to change the monitor because it would change the color or the resolution, which is a problem I had when I had the LG 42 inch with the 2K monitor on the sides. And another thing that I needed because right now the desk is going to be super crowded with all the monitors is I needed to clear up some space on the desk and I needed to put my desktop at the bottom like I used to have it before on my first setup last year. So this mount is not just going to be helpful to clear up some space on my desk. It's also helpful because it mounts under your desk and I'm currently having a stand up desk. So that means I move it around quite often and having your wires always stretch out because your computer stays on the ground and your desk is moving up and down you might get some issue with your wires or your graphic card or anything like that down the road which is a problem I had before when I didn't have something like that and the last thing I needed was just a 10 feet display port cable to mount my last monitor because it's going to be mounted pretty far from my desktop so I needed an extra long cable so the only addition that I needed to do it was just this three piece so enough let's start this build so the first thing we're going to do is mount the stand under the desk on this side so it's going to look better than on this side because there over there I have a corner that I walk around so it's going to be quite annoying if it's on this side. So it's going to be mounted over here and I already had a stand over there that was for headphones so I'm going to just remove it and mount the other one. So one of the good things about it is it already comes pretty much complete because I don't have a lot of tools and that's going to be an issue because I have to drill some little things under the desk. Uh, to mount it and I don't have a drill or anything like that and this is wood so I'm gonna have to figure this thing out but hopefully it's not too too bad. So the quality of the screws were actually better than I expected so I was able to really go through the wood without issue just using like a screwdriver and like a hammer just to get the first one in and then I can screw it everything should be working pretty well if I did my measurement right which I didn't so hopefully it's gonna be at the right place. So I'm done installing this thing. It was actually a little harder than I thought it was gonna be or that I remember that it was, even if it looks simple in the beginning. So everything is mounted at the bottom. So we're just gonna be mounting the screen now and after we'll be mounting everything together to see how it looks. The stand is really good quality, nice plastic. So quite simple for this monitor and the stand. Just need to put this in and just screw the bottom. And that's pretty much it for this thing. So the fourth monitor is placed and uh, now I'm just going to connect everything and everything should be running. I'm just going to do a quick cable management under the desk so everything looks perfect and we're going to start the setup and hopefully everything works as planned. So now everything is connected so let's just see how it looks when everything is open so let's check it out. So far, I really, really like this setup. I think it looks good and I think it's the perfect amount of screen for me. And when I compare this setup to other setup that I've had, I think this one is really the best. The MacBook Pro setup was just not enough screen and the computer was overheating. So it was causing issue at the open and trading the open is what I do best. 
So for me, it was a big problem. And when I changed to the desktop with the 42 inch and the vertical monitor, it was just too wide and everything was on the main screen, which was causing issue of like seeing your charts and you have your newsfeed on the same screen and everything like that. For me, I just didn't enjoy that. So I'd rather have multiple screens so I can separate my things. Maybe it's an OCD thing, but it just for me as a preference. And when I had the dual monitor with the vertical one, the issue that I've had, it was just it was missing one screen and when I put all of them on the vertical side, it wasn't wide enough to have my level two and my charts on the same one. So it was making everything very squished and it was also an issue for me. So I ended up going with this setup and I think it's the best one. And when it comes to the parts for this setup, we have four ASUS Pro R display. We have the HP Omen 25L with some upgraded parts. I have the Logitech mouse and keyboard. These are gaming mouse and a gaming keyboard. And also we have the stand-up desk with the mount to mount the desktop under my desk. So that's gonna be it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you do like and subscribe, I'll also link all the tools that I'm using to day trade in the description with the links of everything that's included in this setup. So if you're looking to build the exact same one, everything is gonna be linked down below. So that's gonna be it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed, peace.